let's try to answer these uh, few questions from organic chemistry okay so uh, we are first of all asked to determine the hybridization state of the carbon in each of the following compounds so looking at the first one what kind of hybridization has the carbon undergone there so I gave you the simpler way of identifying the kind of hybridization and of course we said carbon undergoes three kinds of hybridization sp sp2 and sp3 these are the kind of hybridization that it forms and of course i said you could identify them by looking at the number of atoms that are connected to the carbon atom and of course consider the first one to be s and then the rest to be the p's so in this case i'll count this double bond as one so that is s and then that is p and that is p as well so that becomes sp2 for the first one and then as i proceed to the next one how many things are connected so of course if we say atoms again it becomes wrong so we just need to look at the connections that carbon has so this triple bond i count it as the first one as my s and then this other one as my p so that tells me that carbon is sp abidized the other one that is s this is p and that is p so it is sp2 just like the first one the third one that is this is s that is p so that is just sp abidized and then the other one in this case you realize that you have got two carbon atoms of which they are all connected to three hydrogen atoms and then connected to another carbon atom like that so if you observe all these carbon atoms are sp3 right so if you count count the first one as your s and then you realize that you're going to remain with eh, three other p's so it is sp3 hybridized of course in the actual sense what we are saying is what we are saying is eh, these are the kind of hybridization that our carbon atom has undergone and what we are not saying is that one of these is s and then these are p's no we're just using that as a way to help us get the answers faster okay now the other thing that i would want us to look at is now the the, the other question uh, which says uh, we need to consider this compound and then we need to first of all describe the types of bonds that are present in the compound shown above as so we've been given examples of course here yeah. so what that means is eh, they want us to identify the kind of orbitals that are taking bad taking part in the bond formation so of course we've been given letters to help us do that so if you look at the first one which is a there a is between the hydrogen with the carbon so it is very important but first of all we need to identify the kind of hybridization that the carbon has undergone okay so if you look at this carbon this carbon is has got our main connections as a simpler way of identifying the kind of hybridization so it's spp so what carbon is it sp2 so s p and p so it's sp2 hybridized and then we all know that if you look at an hydrogen atom or a hydrogen atom it has got a single electron right so the electron configuration is just one s1 so therefore the bond formation of the overlapping is occurring between the sp2 hybridized orbit of a carbon atom together with the s orbital of our hydrogen atom because we expect that the hydrogen atom actually has the s orbital as the outermost shell so it is between the s orbital of the hydrogen atom and then the sp2 hybridized orbit of the carbon atom that is the way you answer for a and then as you proceed to b looking at b how is it different so for b it is occurring between this carbon and the other carbon so of course we've already identified that the first carbon which is this one it is sp2 hybridized how about the other one this other one has got two connections so one is s the other one will consider to be p so it is occurring between sp2 hybridized orbit of the first carbon and the sp hybridized orbit of the other carbon atom and then finally the last one we are going to the last one now which is between the carbon and the oxygen so in this case the carbon this carbon what kind of hybridization has, has it undergone we've already identified to have 
go undergoing SP one and two, so SP. And then the oxygen, we need to count the lone pairs together with the other connection. So this is one, two, three. So S, P, and P. So the, uh, the oxygen is SP2 hybridized. So what is the kind of hybridization that the carbon has undergone? So what is the kind of orbit or overlap that is occurring between in that bond between the carbon and the oxygen atom? Okay. So of course the other question says how many sigma bonds are present in this compound? And of course I would also add on to say you need also to identify the number of pi bonds. And of course the, the way you can approach that question is understanding that in each bond there is a sigma bond. Right? In each bond there is only one sigma bond. So therefore we just need to count the number of what? Bonds. So one, two, three, four. So we have four. Four sigma bonds. And then of course the pi bonds, whenever you have a triple, a double bond, remove one sigma bond, whatever remains is a pi bond. If you have triple bonds, if you have a triple bond, one of course is always a sigma, the rest are pi bonds. That's the way you count. So looking at that, you can comment, give us a comment how many pi bonds are there in this compound. And of course, if you wish to have access to the rest of the questions, solutions, of course, including the entire tutorial sheet, chemistry 10, 10, stroke 1000, you can just register using the link in the description. You have access to all the solutions of the questions in this tutorial sheet, including the past papers, as well as the past tutorial sheets. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. So if you want to access more videos like this one, you can access all the topics from stoichiometry into organic chemistry in both chemistry 1010 and chemistry 1000. You access all the tutorial solutions in chemistry, including the new incoming ones on organic chemistry. And then you also have access to past paper revisions upon completing organic chemistry this month. And then of course, these two are the best ways in which you can prepare for your exams. So at only ended quite sure because you access all these topics until you write your exams and of course alternatively if you want to access solutions for a tutorial sheet it's only a 20 quarter per tutorial sheet or register at 100 quarter and access all these three highlighted points now thank you very much for watching